Hey, what's up, y'all? I was looking, you know, in my files, you know, a little while back. I have some really old files from when everything first came out. Uh, I was gonna wait until I figured out, you know, what piece of the puzzle do these even fit in. Uh, what I'm about to show you, it really don't make sense to me, none of it. Um, the reason why I chose now uh, to show it off is because I was recently diagnosed with uh, colon cancer. Uh, come to find out, it was because of a gene. Uh, it's called Lynch syndrome. And because of it, it, it just makes the cancer just worse. You know, you just don't want to give it. You know, that's just one thing you don't want. So tomorrow's not guaranteed. So with that being said, you know, I don't want no sympathy. Uh, but I do want to say something about this. I, I had somebody in one of my videos comment the other day, yesterday I think it was. This is totally off base, by the way. Uh, he says, or she, uh, they put a O in the word no. What a goofy. And you know, my time is not very, uh, it's limited, let's just put it that way. So I had to take five minutes out of my time just to remark, uh, just to comment to this remark. You know, there was nothing to do with the case. It just nothing. I don't even know why I paid it any mind. But uh, there's a reason behind, you know, why I have the E on the leave no witness is because of Facebook I didn't originally start out doing videos on YouTube I did videos on YouTube uh, because I would see my videos on YouTube that I posted in groups or uh, my own group even that I have now which is thriving and doing good uh, we're trying to figure out information, new information all the time. Uh, and it's drama free, you know, any sign of drama, they're out. But anyway, so, you know, this was years ago. I, I seen from some pretty big YouTubers. One uh, in particular that I can remember was Jess Pod Kings or something, production. I'm not, you know, talking shit about it. I'm not gonna, you know, say anything bad about the man because I don't know. I just know that I've seen my video that I posted. Uh, this was the first time, you know, on his channel. I was like, well, I'll be down. That's my video. You know, a lot of people say that, oh, you got my video, you used my video because it all looks the same. Uh, if you look at the footage and, um, you know, if you look at the footage, and look at one person's channel, it almost looks the same as if you're looking at it on another person's channel. It all looks the same, except for, uh, you know, each one's showing you maybe something different. Uh, because there is a lot of fuckery on the footage and in the paperwork. Uh, everything that Rosemont did. But back to this guy so you know I had to take five minutes out of my time to explain to him that Facebook is where I originally started putting video uh, posting videos uh, in groups showing people in these groups uh, and it just so happened to be one that was got approved in the, the one that Zach was uh, the moderator in it was a video I posted in there and you know it went crazy a lot of people could see what I was showing them they don't approve very many posts by the way if you're in that group there's like 200 some thousand people where there was at the time I don't know now uh, so a lot of people are gonna see your video and there's a lot of youtubers that were in it and he was the one I didn't mind that he used my videos or that any other youtuber would use my videos 
it was they would crop out my name uh, and they would put their own narrative with my video uh, and each one would have a different narrative but it wasn't the narrative that I was trying to show it would be something way off base it, it, it was just something that they would be like turn it upside down flip it sideways six times and make it do a backflip and look at it you'll see all this and really all you had to do was just watch it you would have seen that you see everything you didn't have to say anything about the video that's why I never did but anyway uh, you know so that's the reason for that and I don't care about negative comments or, or dislikes all I care about is trying to get out what I know because I have a lot of stuff from the beginning of this whole case uh, just never had time to actually go through it all until the virus came and then you know everything else fell on top but let's get to this because I, I can't for the life of me figure out why they have a lineup with looks to be like Kanika in the lineup and also Bree Bree, Monifa uh and a few others why they have them in a lineup and they're young they're very young they're not when they were older uh you know there's a lot that I have to show and tell y'all that I won't be able to fit into one video uh but let's I'm gonna get right to the lineup and let's just see All right, so this is, uh, let's see if I make this bigger for you. Hopefully y'all can see, you know, everything on here. Let me think. Let's just do it like this so we make sure that you guys can see it. Alright, so this is the lady or person. Uh, memory's not the greatest, but she's the one who checked into the hotel uh, with the fake credit card. Uh, according to Rosemont and I guess you can look at the footage and you see her with actually two other people uh, but they really show one and her and they have her in the lineup with these six people I mean by why I don't know it just says uh, the case you know everybody's heard of this guy uh this was another cop that administered the lineup and the witness's name is blocked out. I cannot see it. And this was done on the 25th of 2017 on September. And it was done at Rosemont Police Department. Uh, now it says also it's computerized uh, simultaneous uh, sim, sim, what do you, I ain't got time for it. Photo lineup. All right, so why they have her, I can see why, because hey, she checked in the hotel with stolen credit card. All right, so let's go back. Let's see, is this the one? Okay. So whoever did this one, which is another, now I remember her, she was on the other lineup, these are uh, computerized, now it says sequential photo lineup in which this person was identified. But this is the person that they wanted to be identified. All right. So she was in the first photo too. Just remind you that. 
And she was all the way thin. These are all the same people. Uh, except for this, I think might be a new person. Uh, and this was done on the 22nd. Remember last one was the 25th. This was done by a whole different person. Uh, let me see if it's an easier one. somewhere all right okay so this here is the person one of the person the people they checked into the hotel with the fake card, right? And this person here, which they called, was said was flamboyant in the paperwork. Uh, they even talk about, you know, the fatal crash. And if you read on 9 7 17, the above picture. Unidentified subjects entered the Double Tree, okay, Double Tree Hotel, and used a fraudulent credit card or debit to obtain a hotel room and services from the hotel. The subject used the same card to rent a hotel room at Crown Plaza, which was the same exact day, which is open to a death investigation. Uh, nickname of T. You know, she's observed, well, she has a Walmart uniform with an attached ID badge. He, uh, f did, like I said, flamboyant, he had a handbag. All right, so this is what, you know, they put out. Uh, all right, so the next one, they did a lineup. Here's the girl here. Obviously, whoever did the lineup. Pick this one. All right, let's go here. Now, here is another. This is the one that's flamboyant. Look at the background also. Remember the background. See how these are blue? Look at the background. Okay, so, and look how young he looks, all right? This one says sequential. This was on the 22nd. This is done by Bowler. This is done by, or Bowler. This same one who did the last lineup. All right, so here they both are. This is who they say was the one that checked in to the hotel at the Double Tree, And, mind you, Crown Plaza on the same day. Uh, they believe they have rented a room at the Crown Plaza Hotel with a fraudulent credit card. Uh, blank handed over the fraudulent documents to the front desk. Probable cause to detain does exist. Probable cause to detain does not exist. So I'm gonna guess she got a warrant, he don't. And it's related to a death. And they send it out to all their agencies. All right, so let's go to the next one. Same thing. Uh, that we showed earlier, except for this one was on 25th. We remember looking at this one. Except for this one was done by William Martin. Mm -hmm. William Martin sounds familiar. All right, let's go to the next one. This is him. Okay, so whoever did this one on the 9th, 25th, whoever the witness was, they picked him. Uh, he was definitely, you know, they ID'd him. Alright, these are the same people, yeah, the same ones. 
Let's go. Now look, this girl here is new, right? We ain't seen Diamond yet. I have, I'm pretty sure. These ones look like they just rearranged and threw one new person in. This is not no computerized, simultaneous photo lineup. Because look here, the same day. Why y'all doing all these lineups with the same, different people on the same day? You see, the same day. Brzezinski, or however, did this one on 922. All right. Wow, all these lineups. But hold on, we ain't done yet because there's a lot of lineups they did. Now, this one for the life of me, I cannot just explain. I don't know. This, I guess, is Kanika when she was young. Um, that's what I'm guessing. It doesn't really, I don't know if it's really her or not, but the police says it's her. This was on the 20th by Officer Tracy. And this one was a sequential. This is the black uh, background. is blue. Alright. Why do they have her in a lineup? And who is the witness? And why do they have him looking? Alright. Go again. Here, look at the background. And we know who that is. But look how young. Look at that. Is that even real? I don't know. It just does not look real to me. Uh, but I could probably find out. Um, 920 done at Rosemont Police Department. So let's look at the next one. Well, well, let's see if we'll, we'll know if this is really Bonifa. We can just tell by the nose. So let's just scroll up in there and see what we can find out here. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I'll look at the background. Okay. Now, why do you have Bonifa in a, in a, in a lineup? That's what I want to know. This was also done on what the twentieth, uh, by Officer Tracy. All right. This was done at Rosemont on the twentieth. This one's a sequential. I don't. I don't know what they computerized sequential from computerized simultaneously combust whatever the hell it said uh, has to do. What's the difference between the two? And we know who this is. What's going on with the hair? I have no clue. But Shabaya, I must say, that's who this is. And look at the background. Okay. And what was she, like fifth grade? Like, what is this? Uh, why do they have all these young pictures of these girls and gay guy, uh, flamboyant? 920 at Rosemont so whoever the witness is he did a lot of lineups he must have just outed everybody or something I don't know what he did but yeah let's go to the next one alright well this one was done at 7734 Kilborn by Marino my dad taken Marino and of course the investigator this one was simultaneous another one of Bree Bree look at the background it's all blue I don't know why so I'm, I'm just wondering why what the hell they have all these pictures or lineups this one was done on the 19th a day before all the other ones but they did this at Kilborn. I might have to Google that address 
Uh, it just says it's, you know, official lineup report pursuant to, you know, that number right there. So, then we get a close-up of Bree Bree again. All right, so that's that's supposed to be Bree Bree when she was young, I guess. Here we go again with another one of, I guess, Kanika when she was young. Yeah. She looks familiar. This room, ah. she looks very familiar, but this does not it look right to me at all. Uh, there was one, just look at the hair and where it starts. Is this somebody back here and they just put this face over top? Or, and what's up with the shirt? One, one is, it looks like two different shirts. I don't know what the, how real this is. And you have the boob in with the hair, I don't know. Uh, Let's just get a little bit because these look like almost dreads to me down there. Or braids. But look, I don't know. It's just something. And look at this shirt. Like, this looks like a guy shirt. I did not see her wearing something that doesn't even match. Now see, and why it's so close up, you know, I don't know. Okay, now we're back down here. And then only for again, what's this one? When's this one done? This one was on Killboard on the 19th. Alright, I've seen her before. For being a computerized photo lineup, uh, they sure do have a lot of the same people pop up. This one was done on the 19th. Alright, so I guess that was it for the line notes. But yeah, that, that's basically all I wanted to show today is find out. If anybody knows why there's line up. Oh wait, I have a few more things. One more thing. Alright. I know these pictures here are probably gonna raise a lot of suspicion and and you know a lot of questions. But can you explain this picture here? In this picture here. Alright, so they're 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 brothers or whatever, right? Or brother and sister. To me, this person played Kanika. I i that's just my opinion. Take it how you want. This one right here, I believe, played Kanika. Received from somebody sent this via email on 920 during interview. Uh, it shows Pucky and Winky at the Crown Plaza party. I have not studied this picture. It looks fake. You know this my snap and Schiller Park. If they're at Crown Plaza, why does it say Schiller Park and not Rosemont? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not, you know, and you have one here, okay? All right, same thing, received. It'll 
take this one to the right, to the left, to the, to the left, to the right, to the left. All right. If you get email on the 20th, during interview, it shows Winky at Crown Plaza Party. All right, so for whatever reason, they felt like flicking off the camera and letting it be known that they're there. I don't know whose phone they got this from, where this email came from. Uh, I don't know. But I believe that person played Kanika. Um, there's something just with them three that I just can't uh, explain. Alright. Here's another one. This, this this picture I looked at a lot. Let's just go in. Because this is just so fake to me. I'm sorry, but it is. Because let me show you why I say this is a fake picture. If you look at this picture really well. This is what they sent out, you know, our department. But look at this. Who, who, this is not a hand. This looks like a busted up face. I'm serious. I, I'm just being real. I don't know who this is, neither. I've looked at this picture I don't know how many times, and I just don't know what that is or who that is, but this is a missing tooth, okay? This is like a busted tooth, right? Here's the grill, all right? It's like they somehow blended it. Same thing with this shit over here is, is not right neither. Uh, let me see if I can show it better. I'm sure I can, but let's just... Let's just go to presets real quick. Uh, HDR maybe. Okay. Uh, Y'all probably can't really see it that well, but right here is somebody's mouth. And, and it just looks like the eyebrows swollen. I don't know. I could be tripping, but and this is not the same person. Look at this guy's neck and cheek. They're connected. How does that work? You see? It's like... Uh, this guy don't have none of that. This guy... He, he looks like a skeleton. Or Look at this guy. He's... This whole neck and cheek is thick as hell. This guy just has a bone. And here, where's the, where's the, uh, where's this at? Where's this guy? Y'all know, they don't even know. Win, fight, and conquer. He just lives in Chicago, uh, Chicago uh, supposedly. And he pronounces his name Pant Good? What? What does that say? <laughs> good. Pant good. All right. Yeah, that's not PZ. That's not PZ. Because that's what he goes by, I'm pretty sure. Ain't that what they say, too? Uh, yeah, PZ. PZ. That, that piss is easy, I guess. I don't know. But look. What they do? Try to blur it out? <laughs> they missed. They missed it. I wish I could click the thing so tell me what how it sounds. Cause <laughs> that that is not easy. All right. So yeah, some of this shit is suspect as fuck. 
you know, flat all the way to the flamboyant shit. Cause I've I've looked at at pictures of this dude, and man, every time I do, I see some fuck shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here goes another one. You know, it's like, what are they doing? What's Rosemont trying to cover up? You know, they know who did what. Rosemont knows what they did, what who did what, all that. I don't know what the hell ate up the back of his hairline and that. I don't know. But Rosemont definitely knows what the hell happened. Are they telling us? No. But I'm on their ass. I'm going to find out. Uh, because, like I said, every day ain't guaranteed. That's it for me, though, for right now. Uh, yeah, I will be back again with some more, you know, info. If I find some more, which I'm sure I will. Just haven't had the time. But I got the time now. So, yeah, thanks for the support. And uh, until next time, y'all, peace.